All right, I'm gonna give my dad my Schumacher 410 watt power inverter. So to replace it, I got this 760 watt inverter and it has a little LCD screen there. I'm a stat nerd, I enjoy seeing that sort of thing. So the 410 is good enough to power this air compressor. So I'm gonna that's why I'm giving it to my dad so he could power this when he goes off-roading. So there you go, it powers it just fine. So let's go ahead and put this in right now. Okay, here's the 410 watt Schumacher inverter. The little decal came off. I really like this inverter. It's like seven years old, super reliable. I had something similar to this one I just got and it failed after a year so hopefully this one's more durable. This one has a metal body. This is plastic. But um, yeah I want to give this one to my dad to power the air compressor so I just went ahead and got this. This one again because it has a LCD screen. I made a solar video solar install video four years ago. This is the same Optima blue top four years old still works I'll do a video on how much reserve capacity it has left but right now it's a sunny day so solar is blinking so it's at max max power right now okay I'm all set up 13.8 volts volts AC 120 and zero watts being drawn so turn on some stuff right now here's it here's the compressor Let's see how much uh, watts the compressor draws I think it's um like 300 something it's gonna be like three something let's try it okay it's plugged in <laughs> all right 212 212 I thought it was gonna be like 300 something so 13 volts right now 13.8 let's see how much volts it has when I turn it on okay handles it just fine I think power inverters shut off when they go under 11 under 11 volts maybe 10.8 Let me set up my Retron HD here in HDTV. Yeah, I'll do a storage capacity remaining video at night. See how much this Optima still carries. But since it's daylight right now, I'm still receiving a charge from the sun. So I'm getting assistance from Mother Nature right now. Okay, 15 inch HDTV. 52 watts. Retron HD. I don't think this is going to draw anything because it plugs directly to a USB port. This has a USB port, so this doesn't draw too much power if it's off a USB port. So 52 turned it on and it's 54. Drew two extra watts. That's nothing. There it is right there. Let's listen to let's listen to some tunes here. Looks good. That's a good looking NES game. Good looking picture for an NES game. Okay. Now let's, uh, 52 watts. Let's turn the compressor on. Sick. That got up to 240. Okay, now let's go to volts. Yeah, see? 12.7, that's gonna go up. Probably there are 12.8 because I'm drawing power from the sun right now 12.9 so yeah I want to see how much um 13 I want to see how much power that four-year-old blue top Optima can still hold there that's yeah, going up so 13.5 13.6 so yeah 52 watts 50 watts 52 watts 
See, solar's blinking, so yeah, the sun's just keeping up right now. See, when that's blinking, that's at max power, and then some right now, so cool. I like stats. <laughs> this is how I'm see. See how it's blinking right now? When I turn on the compressor, it's going to stop blinking because this is this is going to end up using more power than the sun's providing. But right now I'm keeping up with the sun when that's blinking now. <laughs> it stopped blinking that's because you know 252 watts is way more than the 100 my solar panels doing so that's why it stopped blinking so there you go Schumacher see now it's back back down to 12.9 so that compressor um, drew a lot of power so yeah now now it's back to blinking so there you go, a little solar lesson. If you haven't seen my original solar video, new power inverter with stats. So yeah, if I do uh, 200 plus watts, I don't think the battery's gonna keep up. Cause I don't think it has too much storage left. I mean, it's a four year old battery, but we'll see. At night, I'm gonna run the TV, the Retron HD, and see how long this will run at night when the battery's not drawing any power anymore.